Okay, 501. Um, I will call the meeting to order. Can I have a motion for adoption for remote participation? So moved. Second. Okay, Pam Nurse Acton, yes. Michael Ruderman Arlington, yes. Yes, that's me. Steve Ledoux, yes. Concord, yes. Judy, you're up. I think I'm next. Yes, that's a surprise. Uh, Judy Crock, Lexington, yes. Jeff Stulin, Needham, yes. Alice DeLucas, Joe, yes. Okay, let's move on to the superintendent report, Ed. And first of all, actually, thank you everyone for your flexibility and um, joining this meeting. I, I, I don't have the agenda in front of me because I'm doing too many things, but uh, since Julie is not here, there's uh, a motion, perhaps we could have a motion and then we can discuss it. Okay, can I have a motion um, that Minuteman Regional Voc Vocational Technical School Committee appropriate $500,000 of certified excess and deficiency funds to be transferred to the Capital Stabilization Fund to support Minuteman's expansion capacity plans. So moved. Okay, let's move into our discussion. Second. Oh, yes, that would be helpful. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> So you had a info meeting yesterday that I could not attend. And um, if you could just in one minute summarize the issue and explain why this is the appropriate way to do it, then I'd be all set. Sure. Um, so you may recall last year, we had a similar vote in June and we found, and we reported this to you, I think in May, and so did the um, auditor that we didn't do anything wrong, but we didn't quite do it right. And so we had to redo some things. And one of those things that were redone as a result of that was our uh, E&D certification was recertified. Um, and that recertification, the last one that happened uh, was June 4th. So what we're what we tried to do a year ago, and what we're trying to do again, but to do it in accord with the Department of Education's advisory, uh, and many schools have had to do this in the last month, um, is to re amend the FY22 budget. And basically, this vote, in effect, amends the FY22 budget so that we can move some of our excess funds into the capital stabilization in a way that it's available for the capacity projects that we've been talking to our communities about for a couple of years. And we've done this all fully transparent. We just wanna make sure that we're following the Department of Ed's rules. And I guess if you were to summarize the Department of Ed's advisory um, is that any contribution to the capital stabilization fund is in effect capital spending. And no regional school can spend capital without the approval of its towns. So normally in a year when we would have had our certification much earlier, we would have had the opportunity as we did with the lighting authorization to borrow, we would have 45 days in which the towns, if they objected to what we were doing, could call a town meeting and vote it down. Um, no one did that with the lighting. Um, no one is going to do that with this, but we don't have 45 days left in the fiscal year. So I alerted my town managers to this last week. And what we're asking for, if the vote is a positive vote, is that we would also ask our town towns to give us a document affirming that this amendment to the FY22 budget was in fact um, you know, endorsed by them. So there's a lot of moving parts, but it's basically we're trying to make sure that we have the money available to us uh, for the capacity projects as we've been, um, you know, talking with our member towns about for a couple of years. And Nikki may have some more technical questions. I sort of have the, as I say, I have the political lens and Nikki and Rich have sort of the technical lens. Um, before we go to questions, I just want to clarify. I think what I understood is this also is a relatively new advisory from DESI. Is that right? 
Yes, it's in the last year. Um, and it was a result of many people at the end of the first fiscal year we were in COVID had excess funds. And these excess funds are being moved about. And they just wanted to clarify that capital stabilization um, authorizations were really capital spending and we needed to do it differently. Okay, thank you. Jeff. So just to summarize, the $500,000 is the amount we've been talking about for a very, very long time. Uh, we know about it. Everybody who's listened to us has known about it. It's no surprise to anybody. The only issue is uh, uh, technically we have to do this by a different path based on the advisory. And this different path requires us to take this a vote. And then it requires down the line for our towns to send us by some process, a document saying that this is okay with them which yeah. we expect them to do in a, uh, which will not require a town meeting or will require a town meeting? No, 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 no town meeting, just okay. a, a discussion at a select board meeting or appropriate. And we have no reason to believe that any of them are gonna say no. Correct. And, and so this is really um, um, uh, just a technical correction of how we're proceeding and not any change in what our intent is that has been expressed by us over the last year or two. Yeah, correct. And furthermore, it does not impact any assessments for FY22 or FY23. Okay, thank you. I'm all set. And, and can I just clarify one thing and then I will go to um, Steve that in fact, the, the towns normally would not have to make an affirmative stance. They can approve, usually approve it by doing nothing, but because mm -hmm. there's not 45 days between now and the end of the fiscal year, you know, you're asking them to, you know, to, to weigh in, is that right? That's correct. And I've, um, the only town that I've heard from is Bolton and I may be at their school, uh, their school, their, uh, select board meeting tomorrow night to answer any questions they might have. Okay, uh, Steve. Yeah, I, I just wanted to clarify. So if, if uh, a select board does not send a letter that's deemed an approval, just as a clarification? We don't want to assume that. So we're asking for a proactive endorsement. Okay. Um, and we've been advised in, in communications that Nikki has had with the Department of Ed that it would be best and we only need six of the nine towns to actually provide us that affirmation uh within the next week yeah because 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 i guess my concern is you know there might not be some select board meetings next week so you might have a problem with getting six i don't know <laughs> yeah if if we do i haven't heard yet because i sent all the town managers uh heads up last thursday mm -hmm. uh, almost a week ago and um you know, we'll, once this vote is taken, we have ready to go an additional communication uh, to all of them that'll go. It's a much more official looking communication signed by me and our treasurer. Mm -hmm. right. um, and we'll send that. Right. Um, can I just clarify one thing? Is it a courtesy that we're asking them to vote in favor or did the department say, yeah, you need them, you need at least six to do that? Are we required to hear from at least six? That's the regulations. Okay, so we do need to. So it'd be a courteous adherence to the regulations. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I was confused because if we had the 45 days, they could just take no action, but because there's yeah, less, we, we're required to have an affirmative action. Uh, Judy. Um, I just looked it up. Lexington does have a select board meeting on Monday, um, but the agenda isn't yet posted. So, so maybe you'll have, have two. Be, yes. Yeah. Their agenda would have to be posted by tomorrow close of business for a Monday meeting in Congress. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, yeah. um, there's a placeholder for the meeting, but the agenda is not yet there. Well, those so things you. will go out early first thing in the morning. So we'll follow up with phone calls too. Um, so did anyone, did anyone give you feedback when you sent out that initial email last week? No one? Just Bolton. Just Bolton. Um, Acton had a, 
a related question, but we've heard no uh, concerns. And in Arlington's case, I actually sent the copy to uh, Charlie Foskett as well, who's the chairman of the FinCom, knowing how Arlington works. <laughs> Other questions? Um, I think I'm going to send this along. Whatever you have sent to us, I think I'm going to send along to um, my FinCom. Um, um, yeah, the letter you'll get tomorrow, um, or what we're sending out tomorrow, you'll each get a copy of that as well. Yeah, Ar Arlington uh, Select Board meets Monday night. Perfect. Okay, anything else? I, I wanna make sure before we move to a vote that everyone understands and is feeling okay. Okay, Alice. Um, thank you for providing the regulations and the statutory references and so forth because um, it's pretty complicated. I don't uh, claim to understand everything about this. It seems to be a technicality amongst the various documents, kind of a bridge going between several documents. And I don't pretend to really understand it completely, but as a board member who's supposed to provide oversight, I feel like it gave me an opportunity to educate myself and be a better board member. So I really appreciate when, I, when you guys um, give us all of the background materials so that we can do uh, our due diligence to the extent that we can, given that this is something that just started in you know this year. And I I am comfortable if you if you all are recommending that we do it this way, I am comfortable doing it this way. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Anything else, uh, Judy? Um, so I can I assume moving forward then will be um, now that this has been clarified. As you said, uh, Dr. B, you know, across the state, um, that we can put this a uh, little earlier in the agenda. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So when we do the budgetary processes, now will be a, a new never again. A new check mark, right? Never, Dr. B? New never check again. mark. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, nobody likes surprises and mm, no, no, no. Yes. It, Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> this will be a, a chap footnote in one of the chapters in my book, too, because it was a circuitous route fraught with fear and anxiety, but we've come through it thanks to all the good work. <laughs> uh, okay, um, anything else? Okay, let's move to a roll call vote. Pam Nursacton, yes. Michael Ruderman, Arlington, yes. Steve Wadu, Concord, yes. Judy Crocker, Lexington, yes. Jeff Stula Needham, yes. Alice Deluca, so yes. Okay, thank you very much. And I wanna thank um, Nikki and Rich and Ed for providing all the documentation that you provided, <clears throat> excuse me, and making yourself available for questions. Um, I appreciated that. You're very okay. well. Okay, hold on, I gotta <clears throat> bring the agenda back up. At this point, I want to entertain a motion to enter executive session. Um, so to exempt, the motion is to enter executive session and not return to open session for the following reason. Pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20A3, to discuss strategy with respect to likely litigation with the town of Lincoln regarding permit fees, if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares and attending. Will it just be you, Ed? Yes, and Rich. And Rich. And do we have a Zoom link for this meeting? We do. Um... Let me, I'll just send it to you all again. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I have it, so thank you. Uh, I do. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Are we returning to open session? Uh, no. Not to return to open session. Not, okay. Right. Peter?
Okay. I have a quick question. Um, I don't know if this is, uh, so I see that Dr. Dawson is on the call and she's going oh. to be picking up the reins in eight days. Mm -hmm. So I was curious whether it is some possible for her to attend or not, or should she attend given that? Um, just Alice, no, um, she's not an employee yet. If she, okay. I will give her an update um, personally. Thanks. I have to get off and uh, send you the link. Okay, so let's just take the vote while Ed is doing that. And thank you, Alice. I was about to ask the exact same thing. So, um, okay, moving to the vote. Pam Nurse Acton, yes. Michael Ruderman Arlington, yes. Steve Ledoux Concord, yes. Judy Crocker Lexington, yes. Jeff Stula Needham, yes. Alice Stula Custow, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sending the link again. <laughs> oh, has it come through? Not to me. No. I'm working on it. Hold on. <laughs> None of us is impatient. Yeah. In fact, we're all just hanging out here till we get it. <laughs> no pressure. Wasting our time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tough crowd. <laughs> I thought you're, it all would you're all lucky I'm muted. I thought it would lighten the mood. Touchdown. <laughs> we have it. It sent me an email saying that I'm the host, so I don't think that's right. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> Just doesn't want to come through. Okay, so I'm ready to, oh, and we lost Ed. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it said that I'm the host now, so I'm not sure. <laughs> that 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 but I think you way. guys are leaving and right. going to a Zoom link. <laughs> and I, I do want to acknowledge when I first got the agenda item about this, I was, the item that we just talked about, I was very confused and Nikki very carefully walked me through it in such a way that I finally understood the issue. So thank you. Okay, um, so we got a Zoom you. link from Ed, but it is um, a link that Julia uses to start the meeting. Okay, um, I... It's the, it's the host thing. I have responded to his email. Yeah, I have not received anything. Okay, I'm going to try and forward this to you, Judy. Thank and you. then I am going to try and get off. And actually, you know what I'm going to do after that? I'm going to try and do it on my phone and just see if it works. Okay. I was going to say, if I don't show up, it means I don't know. I still won't have the link. <laughs> yeah, this is a host link that I have. Okay. Okay, I just forwarded. Aha, uh -huh, new link. This is better. He just sent me a working a good link. Hey. Hmm. So hopefully you all get that too. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna um, jump over. Do you no. have a duty? No. no. So you can send me an email and I'll I'll no. send it to you. Um, I'll, yeah. I'll forward it to you. Yeah, I don't have it either. Please. Um, okay. I guess putting it in the chat is wouldn't be appropriate, would it? Um, I did no. just I did also just send it to you. So maybe if someone else can try. Yeah. RJ Crocker. Yep, that's what we're sending to. Okay, I got it. Got it. Um do you okay. have it, Michael? You have it. Okay. Um, do you have it now, Judy? Um yes. Oh, and again, good. I think we're all hosts. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you.